Hello guys and welcome to the part number 56 of the No Territory tutorial series. My name is Paul Kropla from BlenderFreak.com and today we will have a short episode where we will fix our issue with our edges. So I hope you are excited and let's start coding. To be able to set your own graphic view class, I just added this new class variable called graphics view class. And as you can see here, the previous version we had just directly instancing the QDM graphics view. Now we are instancing this variable class. So if you want to override your node editor widget with your own graphic view, you can do that by setting up this value. Recently we were talking about the issues with the decision we made earlier with the QDM graphics edge Bezier and the direct one since both of them are deriving from the base class and it's not a good idea to have it like this so to fix that I'm gonna create a new file and it's gonna be called node graphics edge part. We will basically copy paste these two classes and move them directly here and instead of deriving from the QDM graphic edge, we are going to create a new base class. Simply like that, we can create a graphic edge path base, which is going to be just our interface. And from that, we are going to derive both of our classes. So this class basically is going to contain only calc path method, and it's going to behave the same as before. So let me go ahead and just finish the imports. And I also need to fix the references here. I'm going to forward that to self owner dot position source, etc. Now our node graphic edge is going to change since at the bottom when we are doing the calc path. We don't need this race not implemented anymore and we can just call return self.path calculator.calcpath and we need to create this one. On the top, just below the edge, we are gonna create instance of our path class I'm going to rename these two classes and we should be fine The determine edge path class is going to be basically the same as we were writing before. However, it's in a different place now. So here in the node graphic edge, we are trying to decide according to the edge type Bezier, which is defined in the node edge. However, in the node edge, we are trying to import the node graphics edge. So from to handle this one, we are going to directly here in the method import from the node edge also these two constants we are using everywhere and the rest should be already self-explanatory. However, I'm gonna create a new method called create edge path calculator, which is gonna create an instance of the determined edge path class for us. And finally, let's go to the node edge. The node edge is gonna be a little bit different now. We got a scene we also got an edge type and in the setter of the edge type we are re-instantiating the different QDM graphic edge classes. Instead of that, just create one single graphics edge and reuse that one. Then in the setter of the edge type we don't need anymore removing the old graphic edge Instead of that, we are going to assign new value. Then we are going to update the GR edge path calculator. And we don't need to add this one to the scene. However, I'm going to paste it 
since we are gonna use that below here in the create edge class instance instead of that let's create a get graphic edge class which we can override later if we wanna provide our own QDM graphic edge derivative the create edge class does not need the edge type since we already know that so let's remove that param here and the create edge class instance is gonna be a little bit different now since we are just creating the gr edge if we need that and also adding to the graphical scene and updating its position also we are gonna to return that anyways as we were before when we will run this application we will see that there is an issue an exception which will cause an error for us it's gonna happen here here on the edge type the gr edge is trying to create edge path calculator however right now we don't know what the gr edge type is in the constructor since we are creating it afterwards so just to fix that we can set up the directly the edge type value like this and we are not gonna trigger the setter be defined in the edge type And this looks like everything we need to do to be able to clean up the edge problem with our edge classes. I've tested the changes and it looks like it's working. So I updated the documentation, also the version inside the documentation, which is located here in the source conf. And also describe the changes here in the RST and also in the setup of the package. So now I can build it and push it to pip and also commit it into the GitLab repository. Sometimes it happens that you make a decision which you regret later and in the programming world you usually the best idea you can do is instead of continuing on pushing forward with code which is not easy to use it's better to take a step back and refactor that and write it a little bit better way. So I hope it was helpful, thank you for watching and see you in the next part.